find the indefinite integrals. Our first one, take the indefinite integral of 2 to the x squared minus x times 2x minus 1 dx. So at a glance, we see we have a composition here that would be 2 to the u composed with x squared minus x. So I'm going to use a u substitution. We let u be equal to x squared minus x. du is 2x minus 1 dx. And then dx is du over 2x minus 1. We substitute everything in. I have 2 to the u. We carry that over. And then dx is du over 2x minus 1. The 2x minus 1's cancel. And now what I'm left with is 2 to the u du. The rule for 2 to the u du is to just put your 2 to the u back in and then divide by the natural log of your base. So we divide by natural log of 2. And then I add my constant. Putting back in for u, I have 2x squared minus x over natural log of 2 plus a constant. Let's check this. Okay, so for taking derivatives, I like to switch to the exponential function. I'm just going to do that in the form of turning 2 into e to the natural log of 2. We want to take the derivative of this. We'll first note the natural log of 2 is a constant, so I don't worry about that at all. I just bring it over in the denominator. Now I want to do the derivative of e to the natural log of 2 x squared minus x. This here I could just think of as being u. The derivative of e to the u is just e to the u again times the derivative of u. So for this, the derivative of e to the natural log 2 x squared minus x, just write that out again, e to the natural log 2 x squared minus x. And then I'm going to take the derivative at the top. Natural log of 2 is a constant, so I just put it down and then don't worry about it. Then derivative of x squared minus x is going to give me 2x minus 1. The natural log of 2's go away. This collapses back into 2 to the x squared minus x, and then I have my integrand, as promised. Let's do one involving log to a base. Let's try indefinite integral log of x to the base 2 over x dx. So in this case, log x to the base 2, I really don't like that, so I'm going to just switch over to natural logs. The rule for that is, if I want to turn this into a quotient of natural logs, it's going to be natural log of what's on the inside, so natural log of x, divided by the natural log of the base. So that's going to be natural log of 2. Now I just push over my dx and my x. And then we note, okay, natural log of 2 is a number, so let's pull that outside under the 1. Let's take a look. I have a function. I have the derivative of my function. So this will be a special use substitution where the inside is f and the outside is just, well, call it u to the 1. So we target the f out u is going to be equal to natural log of x, du is 1 over x dx, dx is x du. We sub everything out, so we notice the x's go away, and then I'm left with u du. Any derivative of this is just going to be a half u squared plus c, and then we have our 1 over natural log of 2 out front. I put natural log of x back in. Okay, we have our 2 there, and so this will be my answer. Again, we check. So I pull the 1 over 2 natural log of 2 out. This is just a number. So we could just pull it out of the derivative. So now I'm just looking at taking natural log of x quantity squared, and that's derivative. This is a chain rule. So the 2 comes down. I drop the exponent by 1, which just leaves me with a 1. So that's going to be 2 natural log of x. Derivative of the inside is 1 over x, and now I can get to work. The 2's cancel, so we're left with natural log of x over natural log of 2 times x. But now remember, natural log of x over natural log of 2 is just log of x to the base 2. That's the formula I used in the beginning. All of that over x, and then we notice I have my integrand, so my check works out. 